What's up everyone, Willie Apple here and today we're going to be building the Ultimate Mac Mini. So I actually expanded my Mac Mini storage from 256 gigabytes all the way up to 2 terabytes. But we're not done. We got this product here from Orico, which will basically just add a lot more ports to the Mac Mini and make it a lot more useful. So let's go ahead and unbox it. So if we were to just open it right here, instructions, and we can see right here is our little, little dock. Here it is right here, it has two Thunderbolt ports. One of them looks like it goes inside. And then on the side right here, we got a headphone jack, which it looks like it also has microphone support. And we got regular USB-A ports and two SD card readers, one micro SD and one regular SD card reader. And it looks like basically all you do is you plug this in right here. And on the other side, you plug into the Mac mini somewhere, which I'm assuming you put in the Thunderbolt port. And it looks like we also have sticky tack to make sure that this stays firmly planted. So if you did not want to make your Mac mini move around, you just stick this right here and it just won't move around at all. And it looks like, and it looks like it also comes with a screwdriver right here, which we're gonna open up right here and see what's inside. All right, it looks like right here is where you could put additional storage. So it looks like there's an M.2 slot. I wish I brought an M.2 SSD up here to college with me, but sadly I don't have that to show off, but it's pretty cool that you can expand your storage just like that. So it looks like if you need a lot of storage, this is a perfect product to buy. So you don't need to make your Mac mini look uglier with an external SSD like this. All right, let's go ahead and put this on the Mac mini. All right, so this seems pretty straightforward. It looks like all you gotta do is you got to flip the Mac mini like this and you slot it in there and it just fits perfectly in there. And you can face it whichever way you want. So if you want the Apple logo showing like that, you got the ports right there. And it basically just saves a lot more space on the desk as well. And then all we gotta do is we gotta plug this into the back right here and then plug this in the port that says in. And just like that, we could see a light show up. And I'm pretty sure I saw on the Mac mini right here that there was a little pop-up. But let's go ahead and test out a few accessories. All right, so the first one I have right here is a little speaker. We're gonna try charging it right here. And I'm holding the Mac mini and it seems very secure right here. It's not gonna move around at all, which is something I really like. And as you can see right here, the speaker is charging. And then right here, I have a little Logitech mouse. And then if I were to plug it in right here, you're gonna see that the keyboard setup assistant comes up, but since this is not a keyboard, we could just click on quit. We could see that the mouse is working perfectly fine on the Mac mini. Now, the one thing I did notice about this product is that if you were to be in the normal way for USB, you actually notice that you got to flip the USB around in order for it to go in. But I don't see it as a big issue because you'll just try plugging it in. And then if you can't, you'll just flip it around and it will go in just fine. Now, combining the dock that we just got and the storage upgrade of the Mac Mini and maybe the M4 sticker, we have successfully created the ultimate Mac Mini that anybody can use and be satisfied with. I'll leave a link down in the description down below if you want to pick this up for yourself. And thanks to Orico for sending this product to me. And now thanks for watching. Call on again, subscribe to all my apps in the description down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!